And we are back. All right, so where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we heading? I'm listening. I'm waiting. I guess... Let's go to Marble. Like, we better have arrested fucking Pewter. Dante, honey! Who is this? Have I not introduced her before? I'm Iris Sagan. Nice to meet you. I'm a net idol from Lemniscape. A virgin? Hmm? I'm just saying, sweetie. You look like you don't know a lot of men. And I'm going to keep it that way, Mama. <laughs> And what about you, Mama? Me? I'm a fairy godmother, honey. I know all kinds of men. Because I associate with fairies and am an older, motherly woman. Wait a minute. Who are you calling old? You are. You. You're so's bodyguard. Uh, who are you? Oh, right. He wouldn't recognize this face. Don't matter. Talking about so? Quit that gig a long time ago. I'm drinking. You quit? Yeah. That guy fucking sucks. <laughs> Best bodyguard. I punched him in the face and quit. I love this guy. <laughs> that guy fucking uh, sucks. <laughs> I love this guy. Best character. <laughs> Best bodyguard. You're drunk, aren't you? Yeah. I'm not drunk. From the look of you, you're pretty good at hiding it. I know. Mama! Tits! Oops. I meant tip. I got a big tip. If he gives me one more drinky. Don't you think you've had enough? No. No. <laughs> oh, you're lucky I'm in a good mood. I love this guy. Fine. One more round, okay? Yay! <laughs> 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 Best character in the game. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Best guy. You love him. <sighs> <laughs> when you're in love with a married man. I don't know that. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> As you can see, I'm a little tight, honey. How could I see that? You want to? I do. I want to see. No, Iris, you don't. Do you even know what she's referring to? Huh? Oh, Iris, you poor sweet summer child. What What are you doing with that bonito? This? It's not bonito. Then what is it? Part of the man who cheated on me. Oh. I chopped him up and dried and smoked the flesh. You're joking, right? I might be. Am I? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> uh. 
<coughs> I I need to make I'm gonna make an extra save file here and I'm gonna record that and that's gonna be my new text message and notification stone Oh, uh, thanks for the three months. I can't say much. Yeah. The public thinks our Ren killed Shoko. I mean, he's dead. Who cares what they think? And then number 89 busted out of jail and killed Ren. And then he goes and commits suicide by blowing up his own head. But my head's right here. That's what all the news reports have been saying. I know there's more to it than that, but... Saito, Sajima, and his body are both gone forever. The body I was in for the past six years. But the head office will never admit that publicly. Because at the time, the body was thought to be that of Detective Kaname Date. So they tweaked things a little bit and pinned everything on number 89. Said that he committed suicide at the old factory. Only Kaname Date managed to survive. That's how they wrote it. But that's not the truth. Mama, the truth is... Spare me, honey. I don't want to hear it. If I hear the truth, I'm only going to have more questions. There are a lot of things that don't quite add up. Date's face, for one thing. Looking exactly like number 89. They say that your face got hurt real bad in the explosion. They had to put you under the knife for plastic surgery to save you. Your face turned out like that by chance. Yep, totally. <clears throat> That's what happened, right? Tell me it is. If it's anything more complicated than that, I will lose my mind. Well, the thing is, we gotta start at the start. Mama, we gotta start at the start. <clears throat> we gotta start at the start. We went through all that to figure out who the fuck killed Shoko. And with all that, that one investigation just came out of all this. We're leaving. Yay! We should head out. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, leaving oh. so soon? What do you mean, hoof? Don't worry, I'll be back as long as you have information for it, me. That flowchart was oh, a lot. work. Yeah. You should come in sometime for pleasure, honey. Sure, mama. See you soon. Now where to? <laughs> now where to? Um... I guess... Lemnus Gate? Yay! Uh, I find the simplest, like, the simplest things fucking make me just lose it. <laughs> like how when I lost it, when we were watching Cuphead and they were climbing the mountain and like, they survived the big rock fall, but then the one tiny little pebble just came and bonked him on his head. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it doesn't take it doesn't take much for me to laugh. <laughs> uh, I saw Mizuki when I I saw Mizuki when I saw Lemnis Gate because of what happened this morning. Mizuki and I are in something of a cold war. She won't even look at me. <clears throat> We're both stubborn. Stubborn. Neither of us wants to apologize first. Thank you. Excuse me. You might not remember, but three months ago. I called to ask you about Renju, and you told me about Sunfish Pocket. You really helped me out. Thank you. Uh, okay. I don't know what you're talking about, but whatever. You want to go to a Tommy with me? A Tommy? Why? Uh, well... No, we have a woman now. <laughs> I want to rub them. But that's not going to stop us. I want to rub them. Oh, I could rub them all day. What? You're too curvy, tight. Oh, my shoulders. Yes. Oh my God, thank you. I've had so many knots lately. Ugh. Perfect timing. Go ahead, 
I'd love a shoulder rub. Do it. I got up and moved behind the receptionist to rub her shoulders, then sat back down. <clears throat> Iris and Mizuki stared at me the whole time. Their icy gaze pierced my very soul. Well, I'm gonna do it again. Hold me. Hold me. Hold me tight. Hold me tight. Oh, my good fellow. Feeling a bit worse for wear, are you? Shut up, you. Worry not. I shall embrace you. Oh, I am, I am paying for my lust. No, not you. <laughs> <laughs> no. Huge breasts. I heard a voice say from deep in my heart. You. Moi? You. I am merely a taxi driver, my good man. Have we met? Well, let me see. No, I don't think we've ever crossed paths. I have an excellent memory. I usually remember my customers, but I cannot place your face. Oh, that's right. I look different than I did three months ago. Wait a minute. What are you doing here? I have an appointment to wait upon a young celebrity. I was told to wait here. The text I feel like I've seen them before. All right. How how are we greeting the child? We get one chance at this. I I don't know. I don't know. Do we go ya yeah, ya yeah, yo or just yo ya yeah, ya yeah, yo yo ya yeah, yo? Yeah. Mm. I don't know. We get one chance uh, at this. I'll Don't blow it. Off. What? I'll be right back. Okay, so will I then. Okay. We're gonna go with yeah. Yeah. Extend my hand like a sword, ready to strike. You wanna fight me? No. She didn't seem to take it as a joke. I better not fight her. I wouldn't get workers' comp for that. Yo. Yo. She ignored me with all her might. Hello. Hello. How are you? Creepy old man. Nothing, huh? Mizuki looks mad, understandably. Iris, help me out here. Can you ask Mizuki why she's here? Uncle wants to know why you're here. No particular reason. Am I not allowed to be here? I inherited Daddy's stock at Lemnisgate. This is my company now. Isn't it natural that I'd be here? Oh shit, fuck for real? That's what she said. Can you ask Mizuki how she's been? Uncle wants to know how you've been lately. You don't know? Even though we live together? Of course you don't know. Because we barely talk. Even after you've officially adopted me, you don't have any sense of responsibility. Yo, Mizuki's our daughter now. That's what she said. Can you ask Mizuki if she's graduating <laughs> yeah. soon so she can move out? Uncle wants to know if you're going to graduate soon. So what if I am? Just buy me a new junior high uniform and hire a tutor. I want to go to a good school. Bitch, you got more money than me. You want a company. And a new smartphone. And a new iron pipe. That's what she said. Uh, iron pipe now? Can you cut this out already? What happened? Breakfast this morning. I made the eggs over easy. That's it? Yeah. Well, that's not so bad. No, that's not it. I made the eggs over easy, and then Date... How can I eat eggs like that? I want my eggs over well. Burn to the pan on the bottom and chewy on top. Date, what the fuck is wrong with you? You don't understand breakfast. Why don't you just eat an eraser? Yeah, for real. An eraser would taste better than what you served. Bitch, I will come in there and I will beat the shit out of you. You shouldn't say that about Mizuki's cooking. That's mean. You're in the wrong here, Uncle. Why don't you be honest and apologize? Mizuki is the one who should be honest. I'm like her hero. Ah. What? <laughs> when I was in the hospital, you were crying like a baby. Oh, I can't live without Dante. That's what you said. No, I didn't. And you were never in the hospital. Yes, I was. Was I not? 
Different timeline, my dude. What? Then what was that memory? <laughs> anyway, why don't you just make up already? If Date keeps his promise, I will. Promise? The stew? You said you would take me. Shit. Oh, that. Yeah, uh, not yet. Okay, fine. Soon, okay? Why not? It's been three you months. Promise? Promise. Good. I'm glad you two are being civil again. Anyway, should we head out, Iris? Yeah. All right, Mizuki. See you soon. See you. All right, where to next? Uh, sunfish pocket. Sunfish pocket. Who knows what day? Who knows what time? Sunfish pocket. Don Gan Rampa. Sunfish pocket. <laughs> I am seriously so happy for you, Tessa. You're not dead now. It's thanks to you, Ota. If you didn't help me back then. No, really. I didn't do much. I just risked my life to save you. It's a total exaggeration to say that I'm literally responsible for, you know, saving your life. I will tell her about your Twitter accounts. I see Ota I, is still Ota. I was going to say, we need to, uh, we we need need to talk. How have you been, you bastard? I've been doing good. Come. I'm delivering newspapers in the mornings, working Still as a can't janitor during nothing. the day, and writing at night. I might just be the hardest working 20-something in Japan. 24. Uh, I don't know about that. Really, though? I've got to be, like, in the top three in Tokyo alone. I thought of kicking his ass, but I don't think it would take. I guess I'm glad you're okay. I'm actually exhausted right now. But I can't look tired in front of Tessa. Anyway, how are you? I guess I'm alright. Your left eye... Uh... It's fake. I can't see anything out of it. And it doesn't talk. Huh? I see. I don't. <laughs> so, Aiba? What a tragedy. Had to, had to do it. Love meow. Uh. <laughs> Man, if you didn't spend all your time That's and tragedy. money here, you could actually afford to help your mom live, bro. Yeah. I mean, he's clearly not spending that much money. His trident still sucks. It's in the middle. She was so cute. What a waste. Ah, uh, that's why. If she were real, I would marry her. All right, Tessa. You heard, you heard it from here. He doesn't love you. You would not survive the attempt. Oh. What do you mean? Ota, what are you saying? In front of Iris? Oh, Tessa, I was kidding. It was a joke. It was just a prank, bro. It was a goof. It's fine. I don't care. Thank goodness. I don't think that's what she means. She's never gonna marry you, dumbass. Shadows. Shadows. Thread, silhouette, ASAP. Fears. Upset, regret, ASAP. Loser. Ota, Tota. You. Water. Wet, sweat, ASAP. ASAP, you bet. I can't believe you remember that, Uncle. I'm so happy. I said most of it. Yeah, you're never gonna, you're never gonna beat me now. You're never gonna beat me for her affections now, Ota. About my face. Do I look good to you, mermaid? Ota told me. Plastic surgery, right? Yeah, sure. I kind of like this face. More than the other one. Oh, damn. You're good at your job. Damn. Please come again. <laughs> She's very good at her job. She she knows she knows what to do. I was gonna say yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she knows what to do. What's your relation to the girls here? <laughs> you didn't know? Nope. I made lots 
lots of friends working here part time. Yep. Sup, girl. Sup, girl. Sup, girl. Sup, girl. I want to be part sup. Sup, girl. Fuck you, Ota. This is this does not involve you. <laughs> Excuse me. Ota, you can't just say that. Yeah, you're not. You're not us, Ota. God. You can't just jump in like that, bro. You suck. I can do it. Well, though. Ota. Aw, you're going already? Yep, it's time for me to be hitting the old dusty trail. I can see you anytime I want, right? At Matsushita Diner? You'll... you'll come? Yeah, I want you to make me your omelet rice again. <laughs> awesome. Stop by any time. I'll be waiting. Tessa won't always be with me, though. Oh, well, then you're not You're not welcome, Dante. All right. <laughs> All right. Where to next? Mm. Where are we headed? Uh, I guess the diner. We just ate at the fucking sunfish pocket. We just saw Ota. We wanted yeah, to see I know. Him again. I just want to get it done. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to get it done. Uh. Sooner than you thought, Ota. Oh, Isn't that your surgery went well, didn't it? <laughs> Ota told me all about it. Wait. Why does Mayumi not want to kill Tessa? Moreover, why does she have an in-home caretaker? How can they afford it? Ota, you only deliver papers and you sweep floors. I'm so happy. Well, actually, because of probably the blackmail. Maybe. Thank you. Oh, who is this? Oh, um... I'm close friends with Ota, ma'am. Is that right? Thank you for taking care of my boy. About the diner. It's doing great thanks to you. The lunch rush is always crazy. My husband and I are working hard. We never get any time to rest. Sad now. Mayumi suffers from a brain dysfunction. I learned about it just before the incident three months ago. Matsushita Diner was actually closed up, and her husband has already passed away. Unfortunately, it turned out that even the most advanced medical technology couldn't cure her dementia. But her medicine helps her manage the symptoms. It's a little odd, but it brings Mayumi happiness. To her, her husband is still alive, and her diner is still in business. I don't know if she remembers me. I look different than I did three months ago. She did ask me who I was, after all. But even if I were in my old body, she still might have asked for the same thing. But she does remember Iris. Is that because she's Ota's friend? She doesn't remember hating her, though. About Ota. Ota? That boy is a handful of trouble, I tell you. No, I tell you. That's not true. Shut up, Iris. He hit me over the head with a fucking walk, and he tased me, bro. Yeah, that's right. Ota can be really heroic and brave when the time calls for it. So, I bet Saito Sajima was also... In Iris's body when she took the knife from Ota or from Mayumi. I don't know. Of course, ninety-nine percent of life is not when the time calls for it. Oh, you're praising my boy. Maybe I should give you a meal on the house. Yes. I'm hungry. I haven't eaten dinner yet. About Iris. I visited her in the hospital. Ota brought me. Yeah, I remember. I was so charmed by her. Cause she's a witch. No, stop! You're making me blush! I had no idea she was such a nice girl. You thought I was a witch or something before, right? Don't remind me. I was so awful to you. But now I'm a huge fan! <laughs> Thank you! I watch your foraging shovels all the time. You're... You're the nurse from Central Hospital. Well, yes. Have we met? 
That's right, my face is different than it was when we met. Why are you here? I came to deliver Mayumi's medication. The pharmacist sent me. Now that's good looking. You seem pretty happy. I belong to the Association of Nurse Actresses. I got a call from my director this morning. They're giving me more lines. I used to have a bit part during the opening scene, but now I have lines at the end too. I'm really happy about that. That's wonderful, sweetie. What's your name? Hanayo Nasu. It will be Hanayo Yogano next month. Damn. You're getting married? No divorce. Yes. <laughs> That's what I would say. Wouldn't that be funny? Huh? I guess. <laughs> You're laughing, so it must have been funny. That is so wonderful. Thank you. You're too sweet and too kind. She's a nurse in Central Hospital. Iris! About Mayumi. She's so cute and fashionable. And small and old. She's such a nice lady. She's small and old. Lady? Oh, sorry. Um. Sir? Big sister, right? Or maybe mother in law? Never. You might be calling me that one day. Nope. <laughs> I don't think so. Damn, Iris! It's okay for me to say it, but you can't just shoot her like that. <laughs> fucking. I guess there's still one more victim of the fucking new Cyclops killer. <laughs> Damn, Iris, you just fucking murdered her. <laughs> Time to go. Well, let's get going. Can't let you. Yeah. Goodbye. Fuck. Time to go. Can't let you desecrate the dead. Thank you for helping my son. He needs friends like you. Damn. Where to next? Mm. Let's go visit Momo. Oh, you were so close. Well, I mean, I could have said bro. You got these are your three choices. You were so close to actually knowing me and knowing I would want to save the best for last. You were so close. We were. <laughs> I mean, I thought about it. I mean, fine. Okay, we'll still save it for last. I mean, no, I, I no, I am. I'm not going there. You have to choose something else. I just wanted you. I just wanted you to know that I was going to save it for last, and you were supposed to pick mm. everything but that. Let's go ahead and go to Abyss. Abyss and Moma. Broma. Mm-hmm. Bromo. Bromo. <laughs> what do you call it when Date and Momo are such good friends they can they can make fun gay jokes with each other? What? They say no Momo. Uh. <laughs> I'm glad you finally got out of that hospital. Thanks, boss. I'm not your boss. You can call me... I don't even remember what her name was. Mario! Mario. Gotta talk to Mario. Boss's friend Mario. I hate being in their Nile group chat. I'm not even that close with them. Nice. Pon poco pon! Pon poco pon! Pon? Pon poco pon! Pon poco pon! Would you two cut it out? Bon poco? Volleyball. Volley reminds me of valley, like cleavage. And of course, ball is self-explanatory. Isn't it kind of dirty? No, it isn't. There's nothing dirty about volleyball. Except for the sand. Don't get mad at me. There's nothing A.O. about volleyball. Nah. <laughs> Hey, Iris. Date was a soccer ball in his past life. That's why he enjoys getting kicked around by me. That's not I why. don't enjoy it. That's not why. Where did you get that? Oh, you haven't heard? Starting next year, that's going to be the official flag of Japan. That'd be awesome. Wow, really? No.
That's my jack-o'-lantern. What if his name was Bill? No, he, Iris, don't encourage her. Is it your birthday? No, that's been in here forever. <sighs> Every day is like my birthday. Wow, then you must be really old. Damn. I'm going to take that down. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just murder an officer of the law like that. Damn! Cheer me on, okay? Here I go! One, two, three! Throw! I had no idea you guys had beat you stealth bombers in here. That's a ruler. Iris, if you had the ability to stop time, what would you do? Please be a JoJo reference. 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 Hmm, let me think. Please. I want to catch a skyfish. Nope. Do you ever throw that thing around at parks? It's not a frisbee. You could kill someone throwing that. You would kill someone doing that. Oh, those guys are gonna transfer to Lemniscate next spring. Really? Yeah. Iris, you shouldn't have told her that. Look at her face now. Look what Iris did. Iris, my best yeah. friend. Have I ever told you that you're like a sister to me? Do you want anything? I'll buy you anything you want. What are you plotting? What isn't she plotting? Oh, is it Christmas? You still haven't taken down your Christmas tree? Haven't you heard the old saying? If you take down your Christmas tree early, you won't become a bride until late. Oh, you're way past late, boss. That's not an old oh, saying. Dang. That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> Aww. I mean, if Iris can do it, why can't I? What do you got to say about the bust, Iris? Hey, look at that bust. Are his lips red? No. Oh, that's my lipstick. Huh? Boss needs to get out more. Kurunushi. Poor Grandpa Kurunushi. Still uh, hanging on to that one, huh? Boss's mental health is still in question. Can I wear that? Don't do it. If you get your blood on it, you'll turn into a vampire. I mean, that's not the JoJo reference that I wanted, but uh, it's not Stardust Crusaders. But I'll take Phantom Blood. I'll take Young Dio versus fucking Stan Dio. Iris, would you like to have a matroshka of your own? Oh, sorry, no. We're not allowed to have pets at the house. What? What do you think a matroshka is? Bags hanging on a rack filled with colorful devices that, um, vibrate. Yeah, boss needs to get out a lot more. That RC car kind of reminds me of Date's car. Hey, Iris. Yeah? What's the deal with you and Date? You still into him? <laughs> no. Oh. Iris is just going through murdering everybody. Damn. Why are you asking? You see me every day. Yeah, and I regret every day. Are you gonna go to the club later? Interested? But you're still a bit too young. I'll take you when you're older. Promise. To work. About six years ago. Boss, I gotta ask. Why didn't you tell me about what happened six years ago? Dangerous. Couldn't do it. Not today. Well, when Shoko's corpse was found, 
I didn't think it had anything to do with the Cyclops killer. I thought the culprit was Rohan Kumakura, remember? And he committed suicide a year before. I never thought that he was swapping bodies. And the other person responsible for the original Cyclops serial killings was locked up in Fuchu, making it impossible for Saito or Rohan to be involved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I didn't tell you. Besides, the sink machine being used to swap bodies is a national secret. I mean, here's the thing. We can't use anything we fucking find in Somnium as hard substantial evidence anyway. So... Why, right. the, why the fuck make this sink machine? I was ordered to never reveal that information to anyone under any circumstances. So that's why you kept me in the dark? Yeah. About Iba. Still thinking about her, huh? Can you make another one? No, not exactly. Well, doesn't surprise me. You two are great partners. I want to ask you something. Three months ago, when we exchanged our final words, I looked like I do now. I wasn't in Date's body, but Iba still obeyed me. Because you're still you. Second command confirmed. I understand. You're underestimating the Wadjet system. Huh? Iba was no ordinary AI. She was human in so many ways. Including the ability to see and think beyond the physical. She didn't need your voice or iris authentication or anything like that. She knew the real you and regarded you as her master. That's why she followed your command, despite looking completely different. I think, maybe, she knew your soul, Date. Interesting. By the way, Date, I have a gift for you. Is it you? A uh, gift? Close your eyes. It's you. I did as I was told, closing my eyes. When suddenly... Oh my god, why am I always getting gassed? Don't worry, it's just some knockout gas. What? You're going to experience something incredible. That's my present to you. Why? Shh. Sweet dreams, Date. No, I want to be awake for this. No, boss. They're making out on the desk. I just know and I'm missing it. Damn you, boss. Pewter? You bastard. <gasps> Sir Pro! Who the fuck are you? How about my face? I heard. Plastic surgery, right? Must have been a really bad wound to have to remake your whole face like that. But it looks like it worked at least. Looks better than yours. You are... Was it, uh, Kaniza? Kaniza. It's Kagami! Kaniza, where did you even get that from? Only the first two letters are the same. <laughs> Literally two thirds of the name is totally different. No, 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 no. Actually, that's not true. There's a K, there's an A, and there's another I, and there's an A. So four letters are the same, just in different spots. It's the inspector I see everywhere. Fuck you, Peter. Did you sync with me, you bastard? I did not. But I did use the sink chair. For what? Something. Where's Iris? Where is she? Don't worry. She's with the boss. She's safe. Why are you even here? Am I not allowed to be here? No, you're a dick! Of course not. You should have been arrested three months ago. Pewter was working with Renju, or to be precise, Saito, inside Renju. 
He was leaking confidential information to him. Pewter also helped Rohan inside the body of 89 escape. Pewter was immediately punished and fired from the force. Yes, I was arrested. I'm eating awful meals every awful day in an equally awful detention facility. Then why are you awfully here? Then how are you here? Hmm, I wonder. Don't act dumb. I will knock your Dante, head it's okay! Boss brought him here. That's not okay. She did? Why? She told us not to tell you. Huh? Anyway, I'm sort of like his handler now. I'm supposed to be an inspector, but I was the only person qualified for this job. Kind of pathetic, isn't it? Why am I here? Everything that the boss did, she did for you. Creepy. Ask her about it. I would love to, but she fucking gassed me. She truly cares about you, you know. That's why she kept silent about what happened six years ago. Huh? You were once an assassin. If your secret ever got out, your life would be effectively over. But the boss protected you by hiding your past. I don't think she wanted you to leave her alone. Now, who is she to you? She's boss. Anyway, now that this is done, I'll excuse myself. Kaniza, let's go. Iris, what happened to Boss? She went home. She said she needed to do something in Kabukicho. She left? Anyway, forget about that. Let's play. Play? Shovel Forge. No. All right. Uh, we'll finish it up next time. God, I hope. See you later, guys.